What's up guys, Hellish Hero Animations, back at it again, doing another unboxing, um, I guess, well, part one of my review. Um, this time I'm doing Mini Mates again, which I haven't collected in a couple of months, ironically, and it's on, um, some pretty rare Mini Mates. Now, it's just a two-pack, it's not a four-pack, um, that I know of. The characters that these mini mates are based off of, these are really like the only articulated figures that exist of these characters. And they're video game characters on top of it, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's see what I bought. Um, oh. oh, tape is stuck on the box. Uh, yeah, as you can see. I got, um, Jack and Daxter, which if you have not heard of them, I'm going to get this tape off. Oh, yeah, I got off. Yeah, Jack and Daxter, which, um, if you haven't heard of them, they're kind of classic PlayStation 2 characters. Um, it's the officially licensed product. Yeah, these were Toys R Us exclusive. These came out in 2011. Um, that was before, way before I was into Mini Mates. And way before I even knew who these two characters were. So, of course, I didn't get these when they came out, unfortunately. Um, yeah, they're, they were created by the studio, game studio known as Naughty Dog which has made classic games such as the Uncharted series, The Last of Us, and of course Crash Bandicoot, I believe. Um, but Jack and Dexter is a very well-received series that a lot of people have a lot of love for. Um, unfortunately, I've only played a little bit of two spin-off games. One on the PSP that a lot of people consider a very solid PSP game. And the other one was also on PSP and then later ported to the PlayStation 2 and then eventually added to a PS3 Jack and Daxter collection or something like that um, some years later, which a lot of fans, this game, a lot of fans don't like and, of course, don't consider canon, but, of course, it is canon. But, you know, I, I thought it was okay. Um, yeah, so... That's Jack, and that's Daxter. Um, yeah, so I kind of found these guys randomly. Um, they were on... I, well, ironically, they are probably like kind of the hardest to find in the set. It was only one set of PlayStation Minimates. That was the wave. Um, it was them two, Ratchet and Clank, who are two popular PlayStation characters. Um... Nathan Drake, the main character from Uncharted, and another character who came along with them. Um, and two characters from the Resistance video games, which I never played, so I'm not really familiar with that series. Um, and I think that was it. I think they, they plan to make a variant set of Ratchet and Clank, but I don't think it got released. Because I have not seen them anywhere. Um, but yeah. Uh... Yeah, uh, Jack and Dexter. Um, yeah, so these guys were pretty hard to find. Um, ironically, the seller who was selling them was originally selling them as a bundle. Um, I've had the list. I just had PlayStation Mini Mates saved on my eBay account. And for months, I have not been able to find these guys by themselves. I've been able to find every other set by itself for a decent price. This one has always just been in a bundle, and I, mean, and I, me personally, I don't want to pay sixty to a hundred dollars on four sets of mini mates um, when I only want one, one, one out of the four sets. So it, you know, yeah. So I just kind of waited it out. There was an auction that I did not win, so I missed out on that, and eventually this. One of the sellers ended up just selling them separately. This one was for $40, which, yeah, it's kind of a lot. I wish I had a coupon or a gift card, but I did not. So I just I just went ahead and bought them. 
you know, I, I can I can make back that forty dollars I spent. But uh, yeah, I think they were worth it. Um, some nice art of Jack. This is from Jack Two. Um, as you can see, the prototype of Daxter looks a lot uh, nicer and cleaner than um, what we got. <laughs> I watched a review that was made like years ago when these figures came out. I'm trying to focus. There we go. And the person in the video said that it looked like Daxter was on weed. Um... He does look kind of awkward. Um, and in the game, he is short. He's, of course, yeah, you see he's able to fit on Jack's shoulder. But they, they weren't able to replicate that with the mini mates, which doesn't bother me. I, I think it's cool. He still looks cool. Um, so let me briefly read the bio. Oh, you see PlayStation, um, Diamond Select Toys, Art Asylum, etc. Okay, it says. Uh, Jack, hero of the world, the precursors left behind. Jack has a special ability to channel the magical force called Eco that is imbued in everything on the planet. So pretty brief bio. And as you can see, he comes with something, a weapon that, that can be mounted on his back. So I'll save that for the part two of my review. Um, Daxter transformed into an Otzel, which is the coolest concept ever by the way i love the concept of the of the otzel it's hilarious um half otter half weasel by dark eco daxter is jack's sidekick closest friend always a troublemaker smooth talker credit taker and a real hit with the ladies um <laughs> yeah i love daxter daxter's a very funny character and his Voice actor is, um, he was spectacular doing that role. Um, so yeah. Jack and Daxter. Um, I kind of hate to open these guys. These guys haven't been, you know, they, they've been in their box since 2011 or when they were produced. They have not been open yet. But you know me, I like to oops, I like to open my figures and eventually restore them back in there, which I can technically restore them back in there if I, as long as I don't rip the whole bubble open. So uh, yeah, but um, these guys are very charming, very charming figures. Like I said, the kind of the only figures that exist of Jack and Daxter articulated that I know of. I think there were some prototypes that weren't made, never made. There are images, and there are some statues, and that's about it. Um, there's also a promotional disc that was made by Naughty Dog that goes over the entire storyline of the series up to that point. Um, I wouldn't really say this. Well, I'll say that for part two. But, uh, yeah, so eventually I might try to get another set of these, hopefully for a cheaper price. Um, that I might keep in the box, maybe, as I have two sets. But, uh, yeah, so hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for part two. Peace.